Swimming on the bottom, right? One right on the bottom, swimming right now, dude. All right, so they are in the area because I'm seeing them on my finder. Get right on the bottom, so that's a good sign, everybody. Saw two fish before getting the bait down, so that's good. Now we probably won't see any more. Got one, people. Let's see what we got. Woohoo! Finally got one. That's a trout there. <laughs> got me a little slimer, folks. Decent sized little slimer. Mm -hmm. Wasn't skunk today. Was not skunk. Now that fish didn't hesitate hitting. So, makes me wonder what those other ones were. Got another one, folks. What is this one? This one's fighting harder. Oh, that's another trout. Well, the Slimers are active. <laughs> slimers are getting active. It's a smaller one than my other one. I just got this one on the, what is it called, V, V Bridal? Oh shit. Yeah, that's a littler one though. All right, that's number two, but these fish aren't hesitating. So I don't know what the ones were that were really hitting light earlier. Yeah, because I've got over there. Yeah. Um, I've had several huge schools go through. I've got all right, well, that's number two on the slime, slime radios, slimers. Yeah, I saw these lures over at Shields and I said, damn, that thing looks really good. <laughs> so I picked up two of them to try. It's actually, it's actually my first fish caught on that one. This is a, like a little, what do they call it? Z, Z Brado, I think it is, or V Brado. But uh, nice looking little lure. 
fish all over me. I just had that one nail, my minnow head. This one here's got a spoon and a All right, people got one. Boy, well, maybe he's bigger than I thought. He's fighting now. Jesus. Oh, well, that's a nice trap. Nice slammer. <sighs> yeah, maybe not real nice, but at least we got another one. Wish we can get something besides these guys, but might be about all that's down there. Yeah, another one. Alright. Alright, let's see what he's got here, people. Hopefully it's too big to fit through the hole. That one there was on the... Oh, it's bigger. Oh, that's a trout. Oh, it just looks bigger because of that little hole. No, that's a nice trout, though. Yeah. Alright. And let me get this one in there, too. Oh, you have two of them? Yeah. Oh, that one's gone. Shit. Oh, oh, he's got both of them. Yeah, yeah he's got you. There he is. Let's get him out of there. Yeah, that's the biggest trout of the day. It's probably about 14, maybe. Yeah, he's got me tangled up in both. Nice. He ate the. I bet he was swimming on the bottom, probably, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a freaking trouter. I think they're walleye swimming on the bottom. I don't know what's up with that. Big old casty also. Yeah, well he hit the minnow. He ate the minnow and then ate the cast master too. Oh, wow. You saw the cast master in his mouth and watch. Oh, I thought you had it on the cast master. I had him on both. Oh. <laughs> he hit both of my freaking. <laughs> bad. No, that's not a bad slimer for out of here. No. Oh, he is free. Oh, well, it was coming. Oh, weird. Got him. Didn't even really see that one on the finder. Another slimer. Oh, they're all over down there right now. There's like 10 of them at least. Let's see if we can get a double. If you can see all those on that finder right now, they're all around that minnow head right now. But we ended up catching another itty bitty one. Here we go. Let's let him go. He's happy. What's going on over here? I'm marking some fish right now. I want to show the people this handy dandy. My homemade jaw jacker? Homemade jaw jacker. Caught its first fish already. Did it set it off? Yeah. Oh, it did? Uh huh. Nice. It set that off and then he hit this, the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked him in bulk. So, yeah, look at this. Just made out of PVC and a coat hanger. And a coat hanger. Oh, I see how you did that. That's pretty cool. So it doesn't take too hard of a bite nope. to set that dude off. What all that cost you? Like six bucks. Six dollar jaw jacker, folks. See, you can make your own. So you don't have to spend fifty bucks. <laughs> Here's his new fish finder. Lawrence brings it to a different level though, huh? Oh yeah. It's so much funner. So, pretty cool. There's an idea. You can make your own. Because I already loved it. <laughs> yeah, but now you can see the ones down there not biting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that keeps you in your area because you see them. Look at this, folks. Look at them all. That's got to be shad or something. Millions. Yeah, there's so many down there. 
incredible. What the heck is that? That's gotta be Shad. I caught a walleye. Dude, people. People. Target species. I caught it. I caught a walleye. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, people. You gotta check this out. I got him. I got my walleye. Look at that. He's got his worm sticking in there. Maybe. Maybe four and a half. <laughs> no, he's a good five inches. All right. <laughs> Got my target species, everybody. Let's let him go. staying in close to town. Had a lot of fun today. It's nice. I could probably be in a t-shirt right now. We still got good solid ice here in the metro area. I did catch my one target species, a five inch walleye. At least I caught one. Caught, I don't know, five or six trout. Lost quite a few others. It's been seeing a lot of fish. And again, this is definitely still one of my favorites. Tingler spoon works really super well. So uh, we're gonna try another Metro Lake tomorrow morning and we're gonna see how we do and hopefully we can get into some walleye up there in the other one. So alright, thanks for watching and I'll tune in next time. Thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for your support.